Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk, and I am doing a quick video because I was making uh, paper bags, gift bags, uh, whatever kind of bag you want to call them. So, they kind of, you know, they have the flat bottom, so when you open them like this, see? Uh, so I was going to fold one and I thought I would share the folding process and, uh, how it works. <laughs> and I'm trying to see, let's see here. I'm going to, let's use this. Basically you just need, this is my glue paper. Oh, I don't know if I have, this is my glue and paper. Hold on. Let's find a sheet of paper here. Surely, surely I have one. Yeah, let's just use this. It has writing on it. It'll be fine. Okay, so you need an eight and a half by 11. Just a plain sheet of copy paper, um, which is what I was using, but apparently I have it stashed somewhere. <laughs> I have to pull some more out, but this is eight and a half by 11. And uh, what you do is you turn it landscape, you know, this way. And then, oh, let's do it this way. Okay, and then what you're going to do, I don't have any measurements. You're kind of going to eyeball it. So basically you're going to bring this over and leave yourself a flap. But this gives you the, you know, a width of the bag. So let's see here. So basically I'm giving myself a, almost a one inch flap. Okay, if that, if that helps. So then what I do is this flap, you're going to fold it over so it's, it butts up to, so see where, so this way, okay, so this gets folded so it's, so then you open it up. <laughs> And this flap here, you're going to glue it and fold the top over onto the flap. Alrighty. So then basically, you have a tube, okay? So after that, you're going to come to the bottom and you're going to fold up. Now, like I said, I usually just eyeball this. So um, I folded it up. Let's two and a fourth. So let's just say two inches. Okay. And of course, my my paper's kind of rippled because it's coffee dye. <laughs> so you get that folded up just like this, okay? So then you're going to take each corner of this little flap here and fold it down even to the bottom. Like this, okay? And you're going to take the same thing with this side. You're going to make it even. All right. And I like just to crease them real good. So now you have these this flap here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna open those flaps back up, open this back up, and then you're gonna fold these flaps the opposite way. Basically, you're just making sure that crease will will fold, be able to flap both ways. Okay, just makes things easier. Okay, so we just kind of go that way and then back. All right, so then you're going to fold this whole thing back up again like this and open it up. Okay, now these side pieces here, you should be able just to poke in. So if you push the side, it should go down like that. Same with this side. See how that folded open or closed like that? Let me do that again. Let's see if I'm going to show you up close here. So. If you push these sides in, just like that, okay? And I have a little, all right. So once you have that done, we're going
going to fold this bottom one up just a fourth over that center line okay so here's the center line we're just folding it maybe a I don't even know it's not much let's so you guys can see it okay and then the same way you're gonna come down with this and you're just gonna go over the top okay basically that makes the bottom of your bag so then we got to open this back up all right so this bottom flap here you don't want to glue in the center okay just glue the this flap right here so this this little square all right because that's the part that's gonna right here I wish I can get this part here this little triangle you're gonna glue down same thing with this up here you're just gonna glue this triangle and glue that down just like that so and I'll just and then I'll just fold this down okay next before you do anything else oh let me put my thing on so yeah you got this fold like this you're gonna come here and fold the side over to where this peak meets this inside see that here so you're gonna fold this over till it just meets there okay and you're gonna hold it and then you're gonna go up the side of the bag same way with this one so basically all you're doing is folding this side over to meet the, the little end that end it here so just like that all right and then I am going all right then you're gonna open it back up and then you're gonna flip it over and refold those seams those score lines once again just give them a nice little press all right now you're gonna open it up and then you're going to fold your flap oh and of course it didn't I didn't glue my flap I didn't glue my flap all right so we folded the we folded the sides we opened them back up now we're back to this and we're gonna fold this top flap down okay so stick your hand in here and you're gonna open your bag up okay so you should have a square now you're gonna poke the bot you're gonna poke this in and you're gonna poke that line that sideline inward okay just like this same way with this side we're gonna poke the sides in just like a paper bag is is folded okay it should automatically kind of fold in like it's supposed to all right and what I like to do is just kind of crease it all into place now if I had pinking shears I would be pinking the edges but since my brother took my pink shears because he's supposed to be sharpening them for me um, I'm going to have to well what I'll do is I'll just make a little fold down and then yeah I'll close it that way so basically what you have is a paper bag you make your own paper bag see the bottom and the sides now and then basically I like to well if you've seen my fun little paper bag pocket you cut it down and leave it like this and put a lid and then you can open it up and put stuff in it but I needed um, a paper bag to stick in a 
one of my books I'm making. So, um, nice way to put treats in. Um, you could cut a little, you know, divot out. I could show you again how I made it just so I don't know if you guys or you guys can rewind, but actually I do need to make one more. So, um, I will make another one just so, um, actually I'll make one out of a book page. Sesame Street book page because why not? All right, I don't even know what size this one is. This is eight by not quite 11. So, but anyway, size wise, like I said, and I'm going to use this for the top, I think, since it's got that border which works for me and I think okay the outside so once again what I do is I fold it over fold it over and then this flap here I will fold so Open that up. This goes down. I'll glue this flap. Hold that down. Make sure that comes all the way over. And of course, I get glue everywhere. All right. And then, I guess it's not going to matter. All right, so then I fold up the top part. And like I said, I really just eyeball that. Um, I think automatically I fold it up like two inches. Yeah, it's almost two inches. Might as well say two inches. So a two inch flap. All right. So then I fold this corner down and this corner down and then I open it back up and fold it back the opposite way. Alright, then open it and then I poke these sides in like that. I might have to do some re pressing. And then the bottom goes up and over just a hair. And the top comes down over just a hair. So I try to make them as even as possible. All right, so then this is where you glue the little triangle spots. So that will stay. And then basically, I glue this. And this. Hopefully that'll stay. Alright, and then after we get that done, we fold this side in to where it just lines up along that line. Same way with this side. We fold it and even it up. Alright, then we open them and we flip them the opposite way. 
and just I just press them down all right so that way those will go in all right so then I flip it back over and this flap here fold it down okay and we'll stick our hand in and open the bag up <laughs> So make sure your flap is glued down, which I think I missed, I think I missed a piece. Let me, all right. So then after you got that open, you're going to push your sides of your bag in. So push them down. paper is a little harder I will say because you gotta all right here we go it's like making your own little lunch box a lunch uh, bag when you know brown sacks <laughs> All right, here we go. So now we have a paper box, a paper bag. <laughs> so, which is this one, it's pretty cute. It has, is this burnt or Ernie? I always get them confused. So, you can put goodies in there and then you can fold it, you can, you know, fold it here. whatever you put in it and put a little anyway you know what to do you guys can all sorts of things with it so that are those are my paper bags so I got three yeah okay well that wasn't too long oh I'm under 20 minutes I did good all right like subscribe share Make some paper bags <laughs> to go in your books. So I've just been, I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet. Might put a candy bar in one and give it as a gift, you know? Great gift bags. Who knows? All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye.